Under the hood of this car is the latest in a long line of performance engines, legendary as much for their power as their looks. Each generation of engine delivers an increase in power and a reduction in weight, meaning today's engines consume less fuel and produce less CO2. At the heart of every engine is the engine block. It begins with a set of molds cast from a mixture of special sand and resin. Technicians glue the mold parts together. Using a hand file, they make final adjustments by sculpting the sand mold down to the finest detail. An automated machine releases molten aluminum into the mold. After a cooling period, the machine releases the part from the mold. They must remove all the sand, which formed the hollow spaces inside the engine. They spray wash the cylinder head to clear away any remaining debris. Technicians now begin to pre-assemble the cylinder head and intake manifold. Every part of the engine, such as this cylinder head, is made from aluminum. Expensive, but lightweight. Here, robots immerse valve guides in liquid hydrogen. This causes them to contract so they can be easily inserted into the cylinder heads. As the valve guides warm up, they expand slightly, which holds them in place permanently. One set of valves lets fuel into the cylinder. The other lets exhaust out. With a blast of pressurized air, workers verify that the manifold's air intake passages have been properly formed. Using a specially made tool, they verify the exact dimension of each valve. They visually inspect each cylinder head for debris and minor faults. If it passes, a worker tags it with an ID plate. Here, technicians insert the valves into position, then test their movement. Next, they machine the crankshaft down to its final specifications, and the entire assembly is positioned in the engine block. A technician lubricates the cylinder liners, then inserts them into the cylinders. They tap the liners into position with a rubber mallet. Then, using a bit of lubricant, they insert the pistons and connecting rods into each cylinder. With the aid of an automatic torque gun, technicians secure the connecting rods to the crankshaft, then verify the crankshaft spacing. Next, workers position and bolt in the valve cover. Then they install the air intake manifold on top of the engine and attach the fuel injection system. They hook up the finished engine to a machine called a dynamometer which measures every aspect of engine performance down to the smallest detail. And now for the ultimate test, the road test. If you have any comments about the show, or if you'd like to suggest topics for future shows, drop us a line at sciencechannel.com forward slash how it's made.